people can score zero on income. And it's a continuous scale and number of trips abroad, probably a positive correlation, brain size, and number of items memorized uh, would be another uh, example of two variables measured on a ratio scale and we would estimate their association based on a Pearson correlation because a Pearson correlation can and should be used on ratio data. Now let's do a summary across all four levels of measurement. We have nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. And the four broadest categories that I think are useful to discriminate across the four levels of measurement are identity, order, equal intervals, and absolute zero. So the nominal scale does identify the difference between the categories by simply using a verbal label or names. So yes, a nominal scale does have the property of identity, but it does not have the property of order, and there's definitely no chance of speaking of equal intervals, and there's definitely no absolute zero point. Now what about, and I should say, some people argue that because nominal only has the property of identity, which is verbal labels as ascribed to categories, it's not really a scale because it doesn't scale objects along any sort of continuum. But in Stanley Stevens' framework, it's considered one of the, uh, one of the uh, levels of measurement. Now, ordinal also has the property of identity. Uh, and it also has the property of order, because there are ordered categories. You'll recall that friends were rank ordered from 1 to 5, uh, or the Likert scale item, where from strongly disagree to strongly agree, that's an order. And it obviously has identity, because there are uh, labels associated with each of those categories. But it does not allow you to speak of equal interval differences uh, between uh, values on the scale and it does not have an absolute zero point. Now interval obviously has identity, it has order, and it also has equal intervals. S uh, degrees Celsius was identified as an as a interval scale, and what it's missing is an absolute zero point, because there's no such thing as a zero degree centigrade. Now ratio is the most informative level of measurement because it has the property of identity, order, equal intervals, and it also has an absolute zero point. So here's a grid that displays uh, the differences between the levels of measurement and how they are increasingly informative from nominal to ratio. Now interval and ratio in practice from an applied statistics perspective, people don't really make a different distinction between the two because the statistics that we apply to data whether they're interval or ratio does not make a difference. And so researchers frequently refer to data as interval slash ratio. They just use that term uh, broadly to interval and ratio data. They just say it's measured on an interval ratio scale. Now ordinal uh, scales uh, are often treated as interval themselves, maybe not ratio, but they are treated as interval uh, by many researchers. Uh, and what they say is that as long as it has five points or more in the scale, then we can apply uh, interval ratio type statistics on those data. And they'll cite various people uh, that have shown empirically that it seems OK to apply uh, interval ratio parametric statistics on ordinal uh, data. I'll note this is more advanced, uh, an advanced discussion of levels of measurement. Uh, so if this is your first time exposed to levels of measurement, you might not appreciate this discussion on ordinal, ordinal level measurement and statistics. But it's an interesting one that I plan on covering in more detail in a future video. Uh, but these people here have uh, done research to show that uh, if you have five points or more in your scale, then you should be able to use correlation, uh, a Pearson correlation on data. I'm actually not convinced by this because there are conditions under there are serious conditions under which uh, this assumption breaks down. And here are references associated with the discussion of levels of measurement 
And I have Mi uh, Michelle here at the bottom who argues that uh, the, ev the only real scale that we should be using in research is ratio, and that uh, the fact that we are that we kind of were very loose about how we apply statistics to interval data and ordinal data uh, is quite a mess. So uh, Michelle is an interesting read. Uh, and here are those paper. These f here are four papers that look at the issue, saying that we can apply parametric statistics to ordinal data. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time.